Hey guys, it is Michelle and I'm doing a haul video thing. Um, this is a collective haul. I haven't been going out shopping as much as I used to. So, like when I get like a little bit of a collection then I show you guys. Um, but I'm just going to get started and um, show you because I'm really excited to show you some of these items. So, let's get started. So the first I want to show you, it's kind of a mom and pop TJ Maxx. Um, it's relatively new to one of the cities that I go to to go shopping, but they had this one item. I couldn't pass it up. It could use a little work, but for the price I paid for it, I thought it was awesome. I've been wanting something like this for a while, and I've been looking online, and they can be pretty expensive, but I got this for under 20 bucks, so I'll show it to you. It is this helm um, hanging decoration thing. So... Uh, you guys know my love for the ocean. The helm is one of my favorite symbols. This and the anchor are like closest to my heart. I just love it. I've been wanting something like this for quite some time um, for decoration. I, at some point we are moving. I don't know when. You and I have had this conversation before. So I don't know if this is going to end up in, as a living room piece or a bedroom piece. I haven't figured that out yet. Um, everything's kind of like up in the air, so I gotta figure a place where I'm gonna keep it for now. It is slightly fragile where the, um, the parts that you would, like, steer with would go. I don't know the actual, like, name of the little appendages, but, um, it's a decorative piece, so, you know, it is what it is. I'm gonna try to do this by place I went to. Um, I'll show you, I went to Dollar Tree. I only got three things there. I got this stencil brush. And I got two of these little stretch canvases. I have a do-it-yourself that I discovered through Pinterest. It's always Pinterest. Um, that I want to give this a try with. I need some twine to go around it, but I didn't see any at my Dollar Tree. I know they do carry it. So at some point, um, I might just start this and see if I like it by itself. Or if I want to do a little bit of... Um, I might have twine. I got to look around. I did at one point, but I don't think I have that type that would have that nautical feel that I love. So I may have to go back for them. But I got two to start off with. I may do that this week and we'll see. Next, um, I'll show you this that I got from TJ Maxx and then I'll show you the other two stores. So, Because there's more there. Um, I got this little thing at TJ Maxx. The other thing I got is a gift for a friend. So I'm going to show that just in case they're watching. Um, so I got this Juicy Couture. It's like a little card wallet. My wallet's huge and it doesn't always fit into my purse because I have a relatively small Chelsea bag from Coach right now that I'm using. And I've been looking for something tinier because my wallet's legit the same size as my purse. It's a pain in the neck. So I need something smaller. Um, or even just for like when you're doing a quick run around. This is technically a keychain. Actually, Trisha Paytas has, I think she's got a Fendi or something similar. I should really look at Fendi and Prada and see if they got something cute. Because I wanted something cute. And I mean, it's got a cute little crown on it. It's Juicy Couture. I like it, but I'm not like, it's not the one. You know what I'm saying? Um, this was $7.99. I think it's funny, it says compared to $12, but the legit ticket is on here and it says $39. So I know people say that they up the prices on these. In my experience, they, I haven't seen that. But you have like card holders on this side, card on the other, and then in the center you have a zippered compartment um, that you can put cash or you know, whatever else you want to put in there. So um, I did want something small like this for small purses, for just running around, um, <clears throat> you know, that kind of thing. It's super cute. And gray is one of those clothes that does go with everything, so... I like it. I want to get something better though, something more me. But this is like, you know, it goes with everything. You can't beat it. And for the price, it's super cute. And the crown, I love the little crowns on all Juicy. I wish Juicy was as big as it was like in the early 2000s. I was all about that life. You know, the early 2000s and then like the 10, like 10, 11, 12. I love that time frame too. Oh, okay. So what should I show you next? We'll just go into, um, the Walmart one that I'll save Kohl's for last. So, um, so I picked this up. I love VeggieTales. <laughs> this is for me. I know it's, it's sad, but that's okay. Um, I've loved VeggieTales since I was a kid and I've missed quite a few over the years. This was five bucks. So I was like, add it to the collection. If there's ever kids that come over, we have kids. 
I'm hooked up. Um, I watch lots of kids' movies. I watch kids' movies more so than I do actual adults. It's like, I watch either kids' movies, The Office, Golden Girls, or like Forensic Files. That's like kind of like my thing. But I've been watching Eyebrow Monsters a lot lately though. But yeah, I haven't seen this one. Like I said, I loved um, Larry and Bob. They Just a really good, um, you know, it is a Christian uh, company. It's got a really good message behind it. It's super cute. I, this is one of those things, like, even as an adult, if I'm having a bad day, I will pop in a veggie tail just because it makes me feel good. You know, just, even adults have days where they need to pop in a cartoon. So next I got these little recyclable, re reclosable, I'm sorry, reclosable plastic baggies, um, to put jewelry and stuff like that in. I'll show you in a minute. I got a gray and a white yarn. I found a pattern that I want to try that looks really cool if I, um, <clears throat> sorry, my throat's been like a little scratchy. If I can, I'm going to try it out and if I execute it, it's going to be a birthday gift for a friend. So I got the colors that I needed to do with. So. Probably should have gotten another color, but that's okay. So I got a white and a black basic yarn. I hope it comes out. Guys, if it does, I will show you. I'm really excited. Um, it's a crochet project. Next, because as you guys know, if you've been with my channel for any period of time, you know that I made ju I make jewelry. Um, it's been on sabbatical since I packed all that crap away, but I want to get back. I've been wanting to get back into it for quite some time, for about a year, but it's been a crazy year. So I haven't, but I plan on doing that very, very soon. So I did, while I was there, find some beads that spoke to my soul. I don't, I have my places where I like to get my beads, but you know, never, um, I don't knock like Walmart. I know people are like, Ugh, I don't buy that from Walmart. I don't buy that from Walmart. I mean, okay, I won't buy my produce at Walmart, but um, sometimes like in the craft section, you'll be surprised what they have. So I found these little skull beads that were really cute and I have something in mind for those. And then I got two strands of this, just called a resin strand, but it's all glitter and beautiful and it speaks to me. So I have something <clears throat> in mind with this. I think it's going to look really cute and I can't wait. So we'll see how the execution goes because I think it'll look really, really nice. Um, we'll see. So last but certainly not least, and I've been getting better at using my recyclable bags, is how adorable is this? This was a gift. It's a little and it comes in a little pouch that you can hang on your purse. Um, so I always have a bag with me so I don't have to worry about forgetting my bags. I'm trying to get better at that because nobody needs all that plastic, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, I went to Kohl's. Um, initially not for myself, but I did find some cute things that I just had to grab. I'm always on the search for underwear. Um, you guys know I've had this rant a million times about Victoria's Secret's underwear quality and I'm just over it, as you know. Um, I do like some of their stuff, like I love their sprays, but as far as their clothing line, I'm over it. They just don't have what they used to, you know? Um, so I got this pair. They were on sale and they got the lace booty, which are some of my favorites. I've been getting a lot of these lately because I love them so much. I got a plain black panty and this also has the lace back your girl loves her lace and then i saw this one and it's i'm pretty sure this is a size too big <clears throat> but i had to get a look at how darn adorable that little rose i don't normally like white ones but that little rose print was too cute to pass up and it was on clearance for like two bucks i had to get that and then last but certainly not least I had to get this beautiful robe. Look at this. <clears throat> now I have it, like winter robes and they're just heavy and I find I don't really use them. Um, I don't know. I just like feel very constricted in them and I don't like that. But like in the summertime, I do have a robe or two. The one I ended up donating recently, um, just because it was time, but I wanted a really nice robe. I have one, but I don't use it very often because it's white 
And I just wanted like a very nice robe where you just like lounge around in on the weekend kind of thing. So I got this and it's made by Apartment 9. I think the print's very pretty, it's very silky. And it was on sale for $6.80. And she rang it up $6 because it originally came up a different price. So she took 80 cents off. I'm down. <clears throat> so that is what I got. So, I mean, it wasn't too bad. I mean, I didn't really need like the craft stuff, but you know, it's, we, we've talked about this on the last couch video that that's what makes me happy. So that's what we are doing. Um, I'm really excited. I can't wait to play with beads again. It's been so long. I love it. And I've gotten some inspiration from people that I've seen making things. Cause it's, it's really fun for me. Like when I was like selling my jewelry when I was in college and stuff like that, I met a lot of other people who did it as well. And it was funny to me cause I love seeing everybody's process cause every artist is different, but it's insane. Like when you have people doing the same thing, how jealous they get. And I'm not like that. I've gotten a lot of inspiration from other people who make jewelry and just seeing their creative process. I think it's awesome. I'm like, Oh, that's really cool. I, I really should get back into doing mine as well. I don't get jealous of other people because why are you going to get jealous? If you are jealous of somebody else, it's because you need to deal with something within yourself. So be the best you can be and don't hate on other people who are slaying the game. You slay too. We're at that magic moment though, where we're blinking. So I gotta go guys. See you later.